You were a bit of an entrepreneur, it seemed like, growing up. I want to give a, a couple examples. One being, I believe you were in high school and you decided to run a basketball camp and raise the prices over a competitor. Didn't raise the price. I ran a basketball camp because I had a choice. I, I went to college and I was on a scholarship, but there was no other money. Like, I didn't get a Pell. I didn't, parents couldn't send me money. Mm -hmm. They gave me like 200 bucks, see you going to, however you get down there, here's $200. And you, so I had to figure out a way, how am I gonna make some money? Like I have to have some money down here. And I could either work and, you know, work in a mill, I could uh, roofing, I could work for my uncle, I could, and I said, let me run a basketball camp, charge 25 bucks. Uh, ended up making like 1500 bucks. Um, paid speakers, ran it like it was a, you know, and it was just our community, a little community camp. And I did that through, co through college, and that's how I made fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800 to make it through college. I didn't, it was, again, maybe out of desperation, how do I make some money? I gotta, I gotta survive. But that's why we did it. And it ended up being great for the kids. It was, you know, I'd have our former players that I played with come back and work and uh, pay those guys and, uh, but it was, it, was, it was neat. What's this I hear about you being a mobile home entrepreneur as well? Again, by, by it was, I, I go to Clarion University. We live in the dorms the first semester, first year. I don't want to live in the dorms. Where else can we live? My roommate finds a trailer, mo you know, a single trailer, in a trailer park right next to the gym. So we move in there. And what we're paying is the same of what we pay in the dorm. And when I figured out, like, this trailer can't be worth as much as we're paying to stay here. And I'm like, well, why don't we buy one? And, and I ended up buying a couple mobile homes. I'll call them, now that I own them, they were mobile homes. They weren't trailers. And uh, leased them out. And that's when I was a volunteer at Kansas, mm -hmm. and I got no money, that $3,000 helped me survive. Because I, I, was, I was a volunteer for Ted Owens. Uh, Coach Owens, I went out to work camp. Why don't you stay? I, I got a, a staff position. What? You hire me? Yeah. As what? Volunteer. <laughs> like, what does that guy make? <laughs> so I ran the camp, and I had rented out the trailers, which you know, made a little bit of money, had to pay the trailers off. And after that, um, I gave them, I believe I gave them to Clarion. I gave them, to, after I, I got a job, that I had a job, I gave them to the university. And you finally started making a little bit of money as a coach when Larry Brown uh, came I was to... A, I was the part-time coach. Right, so he, uh, you know, brings you on... When you're not this... making anything. Oh, right. And then I mean, you you're make just, a little, you're, you're just, like ecstatic. Right. You're just trying to survive. So he... I lived with the part-time coach for a while. I mean, uh, that's what I did. We, we shared a, an apartment, but it was... I met my wife. It was the greatest time of my life. And didn't you have to choose between uh, cable and furniture that's in the first apartment? That's when I was a volunteer. Yeah, okay. Volunteer. And, and because ESPN was just coming out. And it was coming on the scenes and we, you know, there were games and, you know, we were sports nuts. And you had a choice between ESPN per month or furniture. So we got beds because we had to have beds and then we had, to, you know, pillows and crates and, you know, and stuff like that. And I think we may have had a table and chairs. But again, there was no worries. I had a Plymouth Arrow, if I remember right. But so you chose the cable over the Absolutely. Furniture. Randolph Carroll and I were staying together at the time. And, uh, yeah, I met my wife there um, during that year, as a matter of fact, when I was, she had nothing and I had nothing. It's a great way to meet somebody and say, hey, is this somebody for me? Neither right. one of us have anything, so there's no, like, you know. For more clips from this interview, visit GrahamBensinger.com.